soft velocity. This time, I would like to have this beautiful tree map on H5. And of course, I am going to use the same information, the same data that I already have. Um, basically, I have a list of years that uh, sold a certain number of items. And I am going to use that for the tree map. The tree map will use um, an area to display the amount of items sold. And we can, of course, we can sort it using count or size. And it is, uh, it is a very interesting way of displaying information, displaying data, because you can visually see what's going on with the information. Anyway, let's go back to Clarion. I am going to show you how it was made. Of course, that I use the beautiful example of tree map and from D3, uh, my stocks. And well, let's go back to Clarion. You are going to see how it was made. Sales tree map. First, we are using a div so we can have the same options that are available for the tree map uh, for example this select is only the sort option you can use size or count if you use count well you can sort it in a different way okay this option is this div and I have it before the close button okay inside the JavaScript I am calling my my class so I can display this the links for the script inside the browser these two lines basically are calling a class that in the class is returning a value let me show you what's happening okay this is what I'm using if you see I am calling d3 and d3 layout and I don't have to worry about that because since I have a class and I have made the links there I just have to call it uh, when I need it and it's gonna be easier for me of course you can paste the code here if you feel more comfortable or something and well after that um, after the document has been loaded and the code on bottom is, is going to be called so um, I am creating the JSON file, the, just like the other video. Um, I have here the credits for the example. Uh, all of those bars can be replaced by declaring um, bars and values if you want. Um, we will see that with the torus option. And in this case, in this section of the script, I am using the, the JSON file that I just made everything else remains basically the same because the, the script is beautiful written so I don't have to modify very much anything and of course let's take a look at the create JSON file routine and basically I'm removing the file I am creating the file again I am streaming the file and it is a basic JSON file I am extracting the data from the child's and I am putting the text inside the JSON file. Let's see how it looks inside the browser. If I go to the source code, I can see on the bottom what we did. 
and this is the file that we are loading. Let's copy the link and let's paste it here. You see, it's a very basic JSON file. We can use the JSON class, but this is a more flexible approach because I can do whatever I want with the data inside Trarian instead of just passing the group or making a queue. This is what we are seeing inside the tree map. And by using this, you can optionally modify the information. If you want to display something else, you just have to modify the routine here. And you can add whatever you want. In this case, I am using name for the child. But I am adding I am adding also the the date, the item, how many items uh, were sold, and of course the label. And for size, I am passing the item sold parameter inside the JSON file. So it is very easy because it is also very fast. I can filter whatever I want. I can do it very fast. It is going to be using the same engine and the client engine is very fast so you don't have to worry and you can display very complex and data relationship inside H5 and it is going to be very impressive you can change the parameters but uh, sadly you will have to do that inside the scripts that we have here you can modify anything you want here Let me show you. For example, if you want in the, the text, the labels to be white, you will have to add to the text the white option for the style. And the example inside H5 for D3 uh, contains several extensions made because the examples originally did, didn't have the option to color the text. And in this case, we are using a dark background and a, a dark interface using dark text or black text. Sometimes you, you will need to add a what label. This is not part of the example that we are um, creating right now, but sortable chart um, will need to have a white text so we can read what's going on and we will do that later in this case sales tree map contains a very simple script and the example for the JSON file and with the JSON file you can modify anything you want and you can add the labels and change how to display the, the data inside the, the tree map it is going to be very flexible and since you have you already have everything um, written, you can call this kind of tree map for any database that you have just uh, using the same routines and creating the same JSON file and tree map will gladly display anything that you want here. Therefore, it's going to be very straightforward for you to use the scripts and extend H5 even more.